Hello again. A very warm welcome. It's that time, isn't it? It's 8 o'clock, it's Tuesday, which means, of course, the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean, by the way, if you've never watched the show before. But uh, tonight, I'm going to call it an episode. Tonight's episode <laughs> is extra special. Why? Well, here's Glenn to tell you more. Oh, Good really? evening. Hello, Good how evening. are you, mate? Hello, how are you? Over to you, Glenn. Oh, it's a special edition, isn't it? It is. We're going to base it on the families this week. We're going to focus more on what... Because we get a lot of people phone up, a lot of couples go cruising, obviously, and I think in the past it was classed as an, an older vacation, you know, the older clientele will go. It's changed over the last 15 years. People now want to go away. Families are going away. But I think a lot of them are, are quite sort of not scared to book a cruise, but they don't know what to do, don't know how to go about it, don't know what the costs are going to be, what the extra are and what to do um, on board. Yeah, I mean, what's there for the kids? And I think they think, oh, is it all going to be just for the kids or is it going to be for them or what's it to do? So hopefully we're going to dispel some of the myths tonight yeah. and we're going to run through a bit. And we should say, we've still got, you know, if you're, if you're you know, not, not part of a family or intended well, they've grown up and you think, that's it, the kids yeah, yeah, are gone. <laughs> yeah, we've still got cruises in we different have. dates. We've got 20, 24,000 cruises on our website at the moment. Is it all? Yeah, just 24,000. <laughs> yeah. so we're not going to go and, through them all tonight. And we should say we've got dates as well yeah. right into 2022. We've got deposits from just a pound as well. And we've got regional airports. On quite a few of the cruises, we've got lots of regional airports as well. And that's the well. other thing as well. The, the main thing with the families is, is to get booked now, especially if it's three and four berth cabins, because they're minimal. Every, yeah. every cabin can hold two people, but not everyone can hold three and four, and ships maximise the amount of children. So, And then pe people say, well, I can't pay for it now. Um, doesn't matter. We do deposits now. We can do direct debit payments, you can pay it off in chunks, however you want to do it, right. but you want to get those cabins reserved as quick as possible. Yeah, we're gonna, we should say that the family cabins, the four berth cabins, they are quite limited on all yeah, of the ships, already for all the, you, you can get your half terms, your Easters, your summer holidays, and of course, Christmas and New Year. We've got a very special guest joining us, far well, more special have. than you, haven't we? Oh, well, much more glamorous than me. <laughs> That's true. So, who's joining us? We've got Michaela joining us from Royal Caribbean. She's going to be talking about my favourite ship I've ever been on, which is Anthem of the Seas and, and, and Royal Caribbean. And she's brought us amazing fast, where the children go from 99 pounds. Pounds, and it's a half-term deal as well. Yeah, it's got really to good. To get, uh, really got to be quick to get on that one. So, yes, things will improve in about five, ten minutes, won't they? Yeah. I've also, <laughs> got, I've, I've also got a shout-out to do as well. This one goes out to Martin McKinnon. He, he's uh, he's uh, sitting at home at the moment with probably a glass of wine watching the TV. And I said I'd give a big shout-out to him and his wife. They're watching the show tonight. So, big shout-out to you guys. And uh, I think he's got it on record, so he's watching it on catch-up. But big shout-out to Martin. Right, well, we better begin. We better. Let's go for it. Well, we're going to start with... Our early bird saver. And I've got it. This really is an early bird saver because we've got dates we right up to 2022 with Pino on board their brand new ship, Iona. Exactly. So Pino are quite good about releasing their cruises well and well in advance. So people now can put down the deposit, and you've got almost 18 months to pay off this cruise. And and this is on the new ship, which is Iona, which is phenomenal. We talk about it a lot. Oh, uh, I know beautiful. we had Steph on last week from Pino, but really, really great ship. It's going to be the biggest ship going out of Southampton. It's being built as we speak. If you go on social media. You can watch it actually being built as we go and it's going to be doing the fields for the whole of the summer period for 20 and 21 but this one's a little bit different this is going down to the canaries um now i know my, my eyesight's not as good as it was no i've, I've, I've had to invest in some reading we've glasses. both got glasses now we? yeah we're like oh yeah we, <laughs> but, we <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but i can see that price and it says 719 yeah and that's for two weeks on yep. board a brand new ship. It's phenomenal. The prices with Iona are absolutely phenomenal. P&O are really, really good on their prices. But the other thing, again, we're trying to focus more on the family. So what we're trying to do is obviously explain to the families what there is to do on board this ship. Now, there is loads to do on Iona. As I said, it is being built at the moment. We're just going to show you some computer images because obviously it's not live yet. It's not sailing. But this is what it's all about wow. with a fantastic swimming pool. You've got the dome there that trans uh, transforms in the evening. You're going to have the acrobats. Now, for the kids, there's loads to do on here. You've got the reef on deck 17. That's going to be their kids club. Of course, you've got the nursery. If you want to put the kids in the nursery yeah. one evening and want to go for dinner yourself, you can do that. You've got the Iona splash parks and swimming pools, which you saw there earlier. You've also got things like the splash zone, as I mentioned, the nursery. And again, with the acrobats on board, you're going to have pop-up performances throughout the ship to keep the families occupied. You've got different diners on there, different restaurants. So if the kids don't want to eat formally every night, you've got a massive buffet, you've got the Broadway diner. And of course, with that one as well, you've got loads of things to see within the ports of call. The ship is going to be stunning. As I said, it's brand new. It's yeah. being built. It's going to be launched at the start of May, and everyone's getting very, very excited about and, it. At the and moment. you saw there loads of lovely areas for the adults as well. Yeah. Um, the family of four price, by the way, 
£1,555. That's for the whole family? That's for the whole family, yeah. It's not a bad price, is it? That's really But good. again, like I'm saying to you before, there are limited availability three and four berth cabins. So yes. if you want to get it done, there's no point phoning something six months, they'll be gone. So you want to try and get in as quick as you can because the kids are hardly paying anything at all at certain times yeah. throughout the, the season. Um, and it's a great place to go down to the Canaries because, again, with that area down into that part of the world, um, you're going to get good summer, good weather. Yeah, so... Um, that's it. I think that's amazing. Yeah. For, and, and also, obviously, um, we want to give you a taste of some of the kind of excursions you can do with the family yeah, as well. Yeah, because people, obviously, the, the ports are fantastic as well. But if you look at some of the excursions they do now, as I said, they're basing themselves in the fields for the summer. And then, of course, over in the Canaries for the winter and down to the uh, northern Europe as well. But again, some of the, some of the, uh, some of the tours they have... They've got fantastic aquariums. We'll look at a few of the ports of call that have the aquariums in there, and they're always good for the kids. Uh, my daughter loves going there when we go to the aquariums. You've also got the beaches as well. Now, a lot of the places you're going to go to there, the weather's going to improve. It's going to be a bit, bo lot better in sort of October, November, January in the Canaries than it is, of course, in UK. So, again, you've got the, uh, the beach. You've got the water parks to do. We're going to go down to Tenerife, so you've got a chance to do some of the dolphin watching. You've got the Laurel Park, which is in uh, Tenerife as well. Um, some great chances to do that. And then if you are going to do one of the fields cruising, uh, again, one of the popular activities to do with the kids is the kayaking. Yeah, great way to see the fields. Really fantastic way to go and do it. A little bit more energetic. But as I said, there is not just for the adults. There's loads of things for the kids to do as well. And, and I also think in general, um, you know, a friend of mine thinks of doing a cruise with her family. And I just said, you know, a ship is such a safe place to go Yeah, I mean, we, we were very fortunate. I mean, your dad, obviously. Yeah, exactly. My, myself and my wife, we met on a cruise ship. She was cruise director and I was short excursions manager. So we've got it in our blood. And then, of course, once we had Brooke, we said, right, OK, we want to start taking a cruising as soon as possible. And again, it was different from us. Completely different cruising with a child or children yeah. than it is going just as a couple. And, and again, our main concern is for her to be happy. But she's safe in the kids' clubs. Of course. We don't want to put her in there all day. You know, we're there as a family, but to put her in for a couple of hours during the day, just for you to go and have a little bit relax, have a drink yeah. at the bar, go and do what you want to do, come back. And she don't want to be with us anyway. She wants to play <laughs> with the kids. So, and um, they're all free, aren't they? They're all free yeah. included. You've got nursery in the evening. And again, it, they're a fantastic opportunity to give them a holiday as well as you. Yeah. And there's nothing better than cruising, to be perfectly no, honest. They really said. Um, and a great item, this one. So it's out in Southampton, so no flying or anything like that. Uh, you've got three days at sea. I mean, you will use those days to yeah. just enjoy all the services. And again, remember, as well the good thing going from Southampton no luggage restrictions with flights again no. you can turn up with the car drop the car off the luggage goes straight onto the ship and then you can start your holiday and then from there we've got three days and again say you're going out on the lead date there the 5th of January you know the weather's going to be rubbish in the UK it's like it is at the moment but you're going to be heading down to a warmer oh, climate yes. now when you're getting down to Madeira this is like the tropical Europe meets the uh, Caribbean what's so nice about this if you've got the kids I would definitely take them up the cable car amazing views over Madeira but you've got to put them on the wooden stole toboggan that comes all the way down. I was going to say, are they allowed to do that? Yeah. I think they are, depending on the age group as well, but they can go down there, and that is a really, really good opportunity, something different for them to do. They'd probably be less scared than I was. Exactly. <laughs> and then again, when they're wandering around in Madeira, great views, have some lunch, and then you come back to the ship in the afternoon, fantastic sail away there with the kids. They go in the kids' club, and you relax and take it easy. We then go into a very, very popular destination for the Brits to go on holiday for the families. That's Tenerife. You dock in the north up in Porto de la Cruz. But again, I would recommend a trip down to um, the uh, National Park. Uh, and then from there, go all the way down to Laurel Park. That's where you can go and watch the dolphins. You can do a trip out on the boats and actually go and watch dolphin watching if you wanted to as well. There's loads to keep people occupied and families in Tenerife. We then go down into Gran Canaria. Now, Gran Canaria, you can take the kids to Mas Palomas. They can go and ride the camels if they wanted to. You've got Puerto Rico, Playa de Inglés as well, but loads and loads of places to see. If not, just take the kids off for a one day. Again, you've got the restaurants and the bars to, to take in the views. And remember, you've got that four-star hotel when you come back to relax on Iona. Lanzarote is another popular destination. You've got the Timofi National Park, which you can go and see there. Again, you can go into the sand dunes and go and ride the camels if you wanted to. Our friendly fellas there. There you are, all lined uh, up. But again, Lanzarote is great as well if you like the windsurfing, great for swimming and beaches as well. And they're all volcanic beaches. They tend to, a lot of them, be black sandy beaches, which maybe is a little bit different the kids have not seen before. Then a day at sea, and then from there we come back into Cadiz. We're heading back into southern Spain, and again, weather's generally good in this part of the world. A little bit more cultural here, you've got the Corniche area to walk along, you've got the promenade, you've got the uh, Roman theatre to go and see, you've got the Cadiz Market, which is always very, very busy, and of course the castle. So a little bit more traditional culture, if you fancy that. Then finally, we get back into Lisbon. Now, Lisbon here, great sailing here. Make sure the kids and the family are up on top deck. Going underneath the bridge there, 
Christ the Redeemer statue on the left, the Bellum Tower as well, and then head into town. Now here in the centre of Lisbon, you can go into the centre, you can go on one of the trams, you can go up the glass elevator, which they may not have done before. And again, you've got Geronimus Monastery if you want something a little bit more cultural. If you don't want anything cultural, you'll find all the crew in there and the families. They'll be in the Hard Rock Cafe, <laughs> top right hand side of the yeah. square, and that's where they can say they've been to Lisbon and buy the t-shirt. <laughs> the good thing with that one, you've got an overnight on board as well, so you can stay there overnight, and then from there, head back. I think it's a couple of days yeah, at sea. Yeah, a couple of days at sea. And then back on to uh, Southampton. Wow. Uh, now, we should say, with Iona, we've got a huge range of dates, but just call for half-term and school holiday offers, because yeah. I've got dates, you know, right from October through to March 22, but just call for school holiday and half-term offers. And basically. I think if you want to try the new ship, as I said, it's Freedom Dining on there as well. The yeah. whole ship's Freedom Dining. They're going to have acrobats on there, so you can go and time your evening with the kids as well. You can go and dine later or earlier, depending on what's going on with the shows. Show's always good. British Cruise Line, all tips are included. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, um, a pound deposit. Yeah tonight per person. Per person. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been paid now. Yeah. I'm all right. Oh, you're right now, are yeah. you? Uh, right. <laughs> uh, so if you book select price, you can choose from free onboard spend, port parking and UK coach transfers, or all, I should say UK coach transfers. No tipping required, don't forget, with p &O. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. As we mentioned, you can secure your place for only a pound per person. Uh, itineraries differ slightly just depending on departure date and to make things easy, why not add a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester? You can do that for only £95 per person. And that would include breakfast, parking. That would be for two weeks, don't forget. And really it really is for two weeks. You'd pay that for parking, wouldn't yeah, you? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, we did mention we've got dates for everybody tonight. So you can see there, starting uh, 14th of November of this year, right the way through 2021. So we've got January, February, October, November, and then also dates uh, into January 22 and February 22. And so for uh, school holidays, half term offers, just call us. And those right ones now. there, just to say as well, shouldn't they be mainly, as I said, the Canary Cruises? But again, if you want to do something in the summer, from May all the way through to sort of the start of October, they'll be doing seven day turnaround for your cruises. Yeah. And look at the, uh, the family fall prices there, start. I mean, they're really good, aren't they? Really, really, really good, good, yeah. That January, look at the January 22nd price. I know. Uh, but. Look who's back, Michaela from Royal Caribbean. Good evening. Hi, nice to see you. Nice Hello. to see you. We're very excited, actually, today, aren't we? We are very excited. <laughs> I don't know what I'm <laughs> well, Hang on, hang on. Oh, the, wife's, uh, the wife's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Just you, BA. Um, but you've got an amazing deal, haven't yes, you? Yes, absolutely. Um, so, for, as tonight's a family show, and um, we've got a great family offer, but the thing with Royal Caribbean and families is, as everybody will know, families come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, yeah. two, yeah. three, four, five, six, multi-generational, yeah. different ages. And when it comes to a holiday, nobody should have to compromise when it comes to a, to a holiday. No. Everyone should get to yeah. have the best time. And with Royal Caribbean, that, that happens. Yeah. I totally that agree. absolutely happens. Um, and especially with the ship that we have on offer tonight. Your favourite ship? Your favourite, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been on ships for, t I worked on ships for 10 years and we're very fortunate in our job, we, we go on quite a few ships. And, you know, fantastic opportunity to see all the different types. Anthem's the only ship I've ever walked on where it's completely blown my mind. And that's not just because of the whole royal experience, it's all the facilities on board and having everything included, which is it fantastic. It is, and, and Anthem's such a special ship for the UK as well because, um, Anthem of the Seas, five years ago, sailed into Southampton and was named here. Um, yes. And she then sailed over to New York and has been there ever since. So she's coming back in May in 2020, and we are so excited. This is absolutely the best ship sailing from Southampton this year. Um, but as we said, it's all about families tonight, and there is no better family holiday, never mind just cruise, family holiday than a Royal Caribbean yeah. um, holiday. I mean, looking here, yeah, it's got everything on board. Word. As I said, the last couple of weeks, um, I, I've been dealing with clients in the office, and a lot of people have never cruised before, and they're looking at Anthem of the Seas. I'm saying, get on it, get on it, because it's got so many. And they've got, again, the kids are either younger or they might be teenagers, and they're saying, what do we do with them? Now, this ship's got everything, so it's not just got the kids' clubs. We'll talk no. about that later on. Um, we've got the Seaplex. That's right. So we have the largest indoor space at sea where we have a full-size basketball court we have bumper cars that um, come on we have a circus school um, in there as well and we also have a roller disco in this one venue um, and it is complimentary to do any of these things so Great. any of the activities so we are talking about this evening um, 
Paul and Kudas. Because some of the ships will charge for extra. Some of them will do, but not Royal Caribbean. The other, the other thing. Can we just go back to the picture of the North Star, which we just had a couple of slots? That's that's obviously unique to Royal Caribbean. Yeah, absolutely. It is the tallest, um, the highest viewing point available at sea on a cruise ship. Yeah. Um, and what it is, it's a dual light capsule that takes you up and over um, sea level. It is complimentary, as we said. Um, it's a really great and unique experience and great for one of those Instagrammable pictures. Exactly. Instagrammable and the other, the other things I love on there, they've got the surfing, which Absolutely, you have on a lot of ships. Absolutely, the floor rider, which we do have on nearly all of our ships. Yeah, again, complimentary. Um, You've got iFly? We, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it's your favourite ship. Yeah, you know everything, right. And so we do have um, Ripco by iFly, which is a wind tunnel, so it's a skydiving simulator, a 90-second experience yeah. where you go in, you have the experience. We do have um, the instructors in there with you and you actually get your picture took as well halfway through yeah, do you? so some of them are a bit, a bit funny the pictures that come <laughs> out of them but um, yeah well, you get that as well to be able to have that that moment and again you can go on and do these as many times as yeah. you want when you're on board as they, well they've got, the surfing, they've got the surfing and the rock climbing yeah. but we have 270 this is as the venue well. that I love this is a we fuse technology with entertainment to bring this revolutionary 270 um, it is a purpose-built entertainment venue throughout the day it is a 270 degree view of the sea but in the evening it transforms into we don't have there's no backstage there's an understage and there's an overstage and it is just like nothing you have seen before we have yeah, yeah the six ro the six robotic screens as well that are choreographed and fused into the um the choreography of the it, performers as well it all looks it amazing something else. and the other thing as well if you don't like the bartender you can go and get a robotic one because they've got the robotic bartenders do, we as do, well yes so we do robotic um, bartenders. we have the bionic ball which was the first one um First, yeah, first one in the world, I believe. Yeah. And you can order your drinks via an iPad and the robotic bartender makes it for you. And as well as this, one of the um, amazing, just one of the ama many amazing things with Royal Caribbean is we do have the West End shows on board. And they're the proper the, the full, full chance. Yeah, the full West End shows. So on Anthem of the Seas, we have We Will Rock You. And it has been produced, and the um, the director of We Will Rock You from the West End has actually been involved in putting it on the, yeah. on the ship. So it's a full show. Yeah, we've I mean, had the... Funny, but you, you, you know, I've paid a, about £100 yeah. pounds a ticket yeah. for a West End show. Complimentary on board. Wow, All and it's a full price. show, not excess. No, nope, no. Nope. And you can go and see it as many times as you want on board as well. Yeah. God. Um, yeah. And... Um, just looking at the different prices, um, you know, even the inside, it's a virtual balcony inside, is an amazing price. It is, yes. And um, the, the thing that we've done with Anthony, we really branded it as a smart ship. And we used the virtual balconies as the interiors. There you go. So you can just see on there, um, we've added it, it's to give it a bit more of a. Um, spacious feel and yeah. um, we have the live stream of what is outside of the ship as if you've got a balcony reflected onto your onto your God. wall it is really clever how um, it's been done and it is a brilliant yeah now if you're doing sales. the maths and you're looking at the family of four price which is only yeah. one seven five nine it's really low but that's because the price of the children yeah 99 pound Per, per child price we wow. have on this on this sale and which is the so, October half term date as well. Yeah. So that's really, why the really price is again. We were talking about uh, how many cabins have you got a few? Yeah, it is it is selling really quickly and especially family of three and four for three and four birth state rooms are selling very God. very quickly. I haven't um, talked about Wonderland rest restaurant and uh, we haven't talked about half the ship, no. have we? It's uh, but honestly, as I said, it's one of the best ships I've ever been on. Yeah. And I think if you've got the families um, to get them on. Are we cruising yeah. anywhere though? No. <laughs> 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 we are. Let's look at the itinerary. Yes. No, no, does it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so this we're, one's going to make sure you do get off. At yeah, some so point. this one's going to start in Southampton, then we're going to go down to La Havre. Um, so this is your gateway to then go into Paris. You can go to Honfleur, Rouen, depending on where you want to go. Paris is the highlight there. But as I said, quite a trip into Paris. If you don't want to do that, I would definitely recommend a trip down into Honfleur. You've got another day at sea just to relax and take in all the facilities on there. Then down into Bilbao, down into Spain, uh, famous for the Guggenheim Museum. You've got the Museum of Fine Arts, you've got the cathedral there. Um, and again, just nice to go and stretch your legs. That is really impressive to go and see there. And of course, get the kids by the flower dog as well. That's one of the famous uh, statues they've got there. Wonderful architecture in Bilbao as well. And then you'll just want to get back to the ship. And then you've got a day back into Southampton. So a couple of ports of call. But again, the main thing with this is, of course, the ship itself. A yeah. great first cruise for family of four. The price there starts as little as one seven five nine. Um, and don't forget, you can secure your place at a pound per person. That will be four pounds for family four. Four quid, yeah, four pounds. Oh, yeah. Okay. Limited availability. Yeah. I, can, <laughs> I can just manage that. Uh, you'll get to the North Star, the Ripcord, the Flow Rider, the Roller Skating, the Bumper Cars at no extra cost. And 
watch the award-winning Western musical, the full musical, We Will Rock You, absolutely free. And as we mentioned, you can uh, add on a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £95 per person. Oh, uh, and Michaela's bought some yes, free beers. We have. So anyone that is booking a family cruise with uh, Royal Caribbean and Planet Cruise, you will get a what we're classing as a family pack, which is because when, when you're going on holiday, the most exciting time really is other than being on holiday, is building up to it yeah, as well. Yeah. So we, it's just something to get people even more excited yeah. to be cruising with Royal. So we do have a countdown to uh, to your cruise, so you can change how what number of days you have. We lanyard. have a, a one family one holiday lanyard in there as all well. Bits and bobs. A Royal Caribbean little bear. Yeah. And just make sure you get all that well. back, McKay. Yeah. I know what it's like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brooke's looking at that going, love that. Love that. <laughs> well, we are out of kind of said thank you so yeah, much. No, thank you for having me. That yeah. is amazing. Great seriously. Show. Yeah. And a yeah. great price tonight as well. We will see you very soon. Yeah, I'll Come be back, back soon. Next week. Are you back <laughs> next I week? I think we're going to be busy for that one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you to Michaela and the amazing Royal Caribbean, of course. But coming up next, we have got Disney for you, Disney Cruise. And just looking here, it's on board the Disney Magic, and it's your chance of exploring the fjords. But I'm thinking fjords, frozen, oh yes. Yeah. Have a little look at this. So, so Glenn, this is Discovering Norway with Disney, on board Disney Magic, and the whole cruise is themed yeah. from the Frozen films. Yeah, so obviously Frozen, Frozen 2, the biggest, I think the biggest animated films ever. And, and this is a chance to not only meet Arne and Elsa, to do the whole lot, my, my daughter and my wife would love this. Um, you've actually got a chance to go on Disney now. There's, there's nothing else like a Disney cruise. It's a niche cruise. Um, price is always a bit higher because that's what Disney is. But, I mean, if you want to go Disney, that's what you've got to do. This, uh, a lot of people haven't been on a Disney cruise before. They've been to Disneyland Paris. They've maybe gone over to Orlando. But to do a cruise. But imagine sort of sailing through the fields with the whole Frozen theme with it. Oh, God. Imagine what the kids will be like when they see it. It's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And it doesn't get any better than this. It's I the mean, ultimate way to do yeah, the field. It is going to be yeah. magical beyond phenomenal. Belief. Now, if oh, uh, you've probably noticed our little friends arrived. Our little friend, there you go. Yes. There you go. So we're going to give one of these hampers away to every every booking that books one of these this evening. You've got uh, Mickey Mouse there. You've got a few bobs and bits of there. That's not for the kids, definitely. Uh, <laughs> we've got the chocolates there. There's some hidden things. extras under hidden there Hidden extras, well. and that'll be going back in the car with me later on as well, which is fantastic. <laughs> but again, but that's as I said, every booking tonight. Every yeah. booking tonight. And I said, I think, you know, if you've never done a Disney cruise before, as I said, completely different when you walk on the ship they announce your name welcome to the wallace family welcome to the ryan party it's a different way they've got the disney feel through it you get the characters meet and greet you've got beauty and the beast you've got the rotation of the three restaurants as well and again if you really want to meet the characters you've got a chance to do that and as i said it's completely themed around yeah. all of disney and, and everyone that i know that's cruised with disney they've said the standards yeah. as you'd expect are yeah and the friendliness the service yeah. of the staff is amazing to meet the thing of course you've got the marvel on there as well you've got deck party with the characters now this is animators palette oh, now, yes this restaurant when you go in if we just keep on that picture at the moment is all black and white everything around there is black and white then as the meal progresses the waiters start to wear different colors clothing all the animated palettes around the whole restaurant start to get colored in your crockery changes from black and white to more colored the food gets more colored as you go on board and by the end of the meal everything is animated and everything's color Nowhere else does wow. that. Again, as I said, when you're on board, uh, the main thing is, of course, to meet the characters. And as I said, this is geared more for a, a fields cruise with Frozen. But again, you'll have the, the other characters on there. You've got Goofy Sports Deck as well. But the other thing as well, which you'll be surprised about, there is areas for the adults to go yes. as well. So there's kids clubs for the kids. And then from there, obviously, the adults can relax as well. So it's not just for the children, but of course, it is Disney. Yeah. It is going to be, it will be. And you can amazing. imagine what the shows are going to be like on board. Oh, just thinking. Yeah. That, yeah. So every show is going to be, again, Disney based, and the kids and the families and the adults will love it as well. Well, let's uh, give you a little idea now of the incredible itinerary. Because uh, Disney Magic actually cruises out of Dover. Yeah, which is a bit unusual because yeah. obviously most of the ships go out of Southampton. So we're going to head down to Dover and that's where you're going to be starting your cruise then. Then we're going to um, sail with all the magic of Disney over to Amsterdam. So you're going to have a, a first port of call in Amsterdam. You've got a chance to go off there. Again, maybe take one of the canal boat trips along there. Um, again, lots of stuff. You've got Madame Tussauds right in the centre of Amsterdam. So great to take the kids there. 
they may have done it in London. Again, depending on what time of year you go, won't be so much in August, but earlier in the year you've got the tulips, and of course, famous for the windmills. You may just want to hire the bikes and travel around in Amsterdam, but lots to do there for you. Then we've got a day at sea, and then we go into our fjords. Now, this is where you're going to be heading up, and this is where the ship is really going to come to life. So, first of all, you go up to Nordafjord, which is where you're going to start there. And imagine sailing in there with the stave churches, the mountains, the waterfalls. You've got the frozen music playing. The kids will absolutely love it. Again, from here, you've got a chance to go hiking. You can take the bikes out. You can go wandering. They've got loads of treks there as well. The, the air conditioning, the air there is so crystal clear. Beautiful time of year to go, and you're almost going to have um, 24 hours sunlight because you're going yes, up in the summer actually, there, which yeah, is, is again time. very, very different. We then head down into Alisund. Alisund, again, famous for the Atlantic Sea Park. So you've got the opportunity to take there, like the aquarium. So again, the kids will love that one. You've also got the Sunmil Museum. But again, look at going around there, typical Hanseatic wooden style buildings that you get a lot in these Norwegian ports of call. And again, if the kids haven't been there before, they'll love it. The adults will love it as well. Then we're going to Stavanger, slightly bigger city, uh, a little bit smaller than Bergen, but again, nice there, you dock right in the centre of town, do a left and the right, and then you're right in the centre of town itself. And again, you can wander off for the day there. You're going to sail through the Lyse Fjord, which is spectacular. That's where you get a chance to see the pulpit rock as well. Um, but again, as you walk around there, as I said, you've got a beautiful chance just to relax, and the weather's going to be good at that time of year. And then from there, you're going to carry on the experience with Disney, you're going to make your way back on for a day at sea and then head back into Dover. As I said, very, very niche cruise. No other ship in the world is like Disney. And if you've never tried it before, spectacular opportunity. So maybe live your dreams out and, of course, the kids as well. Well, let's... My just... wife's going to be looking at that going, why are we not... That's what I was, yeah. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know she is. <laughs> why have we not booked that? I'll go. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's time yet. Yeah. Yes, there is time. There yes, is. Yes. So I'll let's say it's shoot. What's included? <laughs> uh, you will get uh, free hundred dollars Disney food spending uh, per stateroom as well. Uh, visit the land that, of course, inspired Frozen, and experience a whole day of Frozen fun, and that includes the, the character meet and greet, a Frozen deck party and a themed dining experience. Full board rotational dining at three uniquely themed restaurants, plus unlimited snacks, soft drinks, tea, coffee and ice cream, and immersive themed kids and teens clubs. They will be amazing. And West End Calibre original Disney News. See, my wow. wife at the moment does what's called troll, Trolls Parties and Frozen Parties for yeah. children. So we've got all the costumes at home. We've got a six-foot Olaf costume at the moment. And I know if we go on that cruise, as we unpack our cases, that will be coming out. I know it will. I know it will. But as I said, I think that is a completely different cruise. That is the, probably one of the, yeah. the, the best family ones you're going to have because it is Disney. Uh, and just uh, give, us a, give us a call, of course, for the family of four prices. But, um, yeah, that will be truly magical. Anyway, what's coming up next? Did that sell inclusive? I think it did. Is it this week's all inclusive? Is that our favourite word? Ding ding. It is, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Sold. <laughs> Where's it going? Don't um, know. But um, seriously, we're both looking at this one. Um, yeah. Two weeks, all inclusive with Morella, who I've yeah. now quizzed with three times. Had a great time. You're a big fan of Morella yeah, as well. Yeah, Morella in May. Yep. Uh, look at the price for two weeks, all inclusive, starting at nine three nine. Now we were talking about this earlier. We were obviously this show is focused for families, and we're talking about what you can do with families on board Morella, which is great. British Cruise Line, all inclusive. But if you haven't got the kids with you, have a look at the price of the cruise and where it's going. Because yeah. if we didn't have the kids, I'd book this one anyway. Because it's almost like a not quite a repositioning, but it's going from uh, Tenerife and then heading into Corfu. Great destinations on here, big ports of call. Um, so I said, even if you haven't got the kids. And, and it's the 17th of April, so date-wise? Just after, I, think it, I think, I might be wrong, but I think it's just after the Easter period. So the children that will be on board this will be younger, probably not school age. So it's not going to be inundated with children, but the price on this is fantastic. It's amazing. I mean, it works out, what? F what, 60 quid a day or something like that? 70 quid a day? And what? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And that's all inclusive, all drinks, tips, and everything. Was that all inclusive, do you yeah, say? Yeah, all inclusive. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but um, Morella do offer great facilities for families, of course. They as do, well. yeah. So, as I said, it's a British cruise line. So, again, you can start having a look at some of the stuff they have here. But again, being a British cruise line, uh, most of the entertainment staff on board are going to be English or British. They, um, the captain, the cruise director, the shows are all geared towards the Brits as well. And again, they really, I mean, Tui, Thompson, 
Morella, whatever you want to call them, are really geared towards families with their normal holidays as well as their cruises. Now, again, their shows are famous. They've got great West End style oh, shows, really Broadway good. style shows, which we know we go and watch. And again, what's nice about these ships, they're freedom dining. So you can literally go and dine when you want, depending on what the shows are doing that evening. You've got pool deck parties, which they put loads and loads of effort in. That's really good on top deck. You've got sailaways. You've got uh, the squid and anchor for your pub quizzes. You've got the sports courts. You've got the swimming pools, of course, the sports decks, the mini golf. And, of course, the kids club. And they range from all ages, whether you're uh, two or three years of age, all the way up to 16, 17 years of age. So great. And they're catered for everybody. And, again, with the kids clubs, like they do on many of the cruise ships, they'll break them up into certain ages, like three to six or seven to nine, however they're going to do it on the ship. And, of course, the activities, depending on the age group of the kids club, will obviously represent what they want to do. Do you know, um, I... I I took my mum on the Morello Explorer uh, just before Christmas for her 79th birthday and she said it's the best cruise she's ever done. She couldn't get in the kids club though, could she? <laughs> <laughs> just as well. When she said seven to nine, <laughs> just a bit too old. <laughs> Being with her was like looking after a kid at times. Uh, Night, well, mum, it's time to go to bed now. Come on, <laughs> it's half past three. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we had a great time, we but really the, did. The good thing with it as well, with Morella, is because they've got their own airline as well, we've based yeah. this, I think, on Bournemouth flights. But again, with this one, you can fly anywhere in the country as long as the availability's there. So if you're based up in uh, East Midlands, Doncaster, Manchester, down in Exeter, as long as the flights are available. And again, we've based this on Bournemouth. Give the guys a call this evening and they can let you know what the supplement would be to fly in any of those airports. But they do make it really easy with all those yeah, flights. Yeah, the transfers are included, oh, yeah. the crews, the staff look after you the whole time. And again, the drinks package is really comprehensive. All beers, wines, spirits, cocktails, soft drinks as well. There was good. certainly enough on there for me and my mum, I tell That's you. Good. Yeah. Um, obviously, a great range of cabins from the inside, the outside, balcony. We've got balcony junior suites. And a family of four price are just 389 Nine as well. And I think that will be based on one of the balcony of junior suites on there. Will it? Okay. But again, with this one as well, limited availability if you are looking at taking three and four people. Two berths should be fine at the moment, and those prices are really, really good. Yeah, so just again, give us a call as ever, and we can uh, talk through all the options. But uh, this starts with a flight, of course, a lovely flight over to Tenerife. As we mentioned, loads of regional airports available. Um, and then, but this is a really sort of different itinerary because normally exactly. you do the Canaries or you do the Western Med, you do the Eastern Med, you're doing a bit of everything on here. So we're going to go first of all into Tenerife and then we go on to Grand Canaria. We've spoke about that already. A couple of days at sea and then we're going to go and see your friends, the apes up in Gibraltar. Um, <laughs> and from there you get to see the Barbary <laughs> apes in Gibraltar itself. So again, if the kids are on board, you can take them up to see them. But again, the rock of Gibraltar is fantastic. It's there I am. Amazing. There, there he am. is. There, look, there's your, yeah. chin, your chin twin. Yeah. There you go. But, um, um, but again, great views down onto the ship there as well. And as I said, really, really nice opportunity to see Gibraltar. We then have a day at sea and then go over to Alicante, which is on the uh, east coast of Spain. Again, I used to live over in this part of the world. I used to have a ha house here and we used to fly into Alicante. Great beach area there if you want to hit the beach. Should be a nice time of year. 17th of April, starting to get warmer. Um, and again, lots to see in Alicante itself. We then go down into one of the big ports of call of the Med, which is called Barcelona. Now, again, with this one, you've got the uh, Sagrada Familia, the unfinished the cathedral. You dock it, that's the port area there. You've got the Columbus statue, and then you can head up Las Ramblas, which is the main shopping street. That's Sagrada Familia, the, um, the, the Gaudi's unfinished uh, cathedral. Again, if you're football fans, maybe a trip over to the new camp if you wanted to. Hop on, hop off buses there. They do the red buses that go around 20 euros a day, and you can do a city tour, but a wonderful city to go and see. Then down into France, we go down into Toulon, and here you go to Mount uh, Montferron. You've got also the uh, the Royal Tour, a little bit uh, more of cultural. Again, down in this part of France, stunning part of the world. And again, here you could just go off, maybe have some lunch, chill out in the marina area, and take in the views and do a bit of. I tell you what, this is a great itinerary yeah. so far. There's still more to we're, go. Isn't we're there? only halfway through at the moment. Then we go down into Corsica. So Corsica is a wonderful uh, island to go and see. Many people probably haven't been to Corsica before, but again, uh, beautiful beach area there. You've got the, um, uh, the Cornish and the walkway there, the promenade area to stroll along. And again, with this one, we used to go into the town area, have a bit of lunch, maybe pop down to the beach. Um, but again, the weather should still be quite reasonable at that time of year. 
We then go into the three big ports of call of the Western Med. We're going to go first of all into Livorno, and this is your gateway to go to Florence and Pisa. Again, we talk about that regularly, but even if you don't want to do the full day tour, I would definitely take the kids to Pisa if you're going to do any a half day tour. But if you're just by yourselves, maybe a trip into Florence, wonderful city with the Duomo, the Ponte Vecchia, uh, as you can see there, that's the Ponte Vecchia Bridge. But again, a nice opportunity to really step back in time of old world Florence. Then head into Rome. We then go into one of the great cities of the world. A lot to do here in one day, but again, you've got the Colosseum for the kids. That's really interesting to go and see. If you're just as couples, I'd probably recommend things like the Vatican Sistine Chapel, toss a coin in the Trevi Fountain, um, and of course, lots to see there in Rome. And then finally down into Naples. Now, this is the opportunity then. We say Capri, but I'm sure we're docking in Naples here. And from there, you get the opportunity to go and do a number of things. If you've got the kids, I would definitely recommend a trip up to Vesuvius, which is wonderful to see. If you haven't, maybe go to see Pompeii, Capri, Ischia. But again, you've got that Amalfi coastline, one of the greatest drives in the world. Hire a car and take the car out for the day. Naples is okay, but get out and about if it was me. Then a chill out day because you've done so much on this cruise. You've got your all inclusive drinks to relax, take it a bit of sun before heading back into Corfu. Yes, yeah, you'll be your making the most of that drinks package oh, on the final day. I may, yeah. may partake in a small <laughs> drink or two. But what an amazing itinerary. That's you know really quite unusual for Morello, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, really they're based in the Canaries yeah. or the Med, but this is doing a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, and again, for two weeks, all inclusive. So that's tips, drinks, everything. Flights, transfers. Um, but it is an exclusive price reduction, don't forget, for the Planet Cruise TV show tonight. All inclusive, I've just said, so that's your tips, your food, your entertainment, your drinks. We've got a family of four all inclusive price uh, starting at 3899. You think that would be for balcony? I'm sure that's yeah. going to be for balcony. Speak to the guys, they'll let you know, but again, limited availability. And, and return flights based on Bournemouth, but we will have so many regional airports available. So just ask, you know, what's available, the nearest airport to you, and we can give you a price on that as well. But um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Morella, so cruise them three times now, and yep. had, a, had a great time. Really good Converted. time. Converted. Just excellent value. And yeah, they are good value for yeah, money, aren't they? And really great, good. great food, great service, yeah, great entertainment. Anyway, there's still loads more coming up with Planet Cruise, and it's time for a hot pick. Now, this is with Carnival. Now, I, uh, I said to Glenn, I didn't know that Carnival actually cruised out in the UK. Yeah, they are. They don't do, don't do it very often, but they're based in here. Now, this is another one, another Norwegian fjords from Dover. So it's a bit strange. We've got two from Dover, but this one's going from there. This is with Carnival. Um, and again, you can see the price. Look at the difference in price on there for you. Uh, £102 per person. Family of four price there for the 16th of July. So that's just before the summer holidays. So, you know, if, the, if, if you're you can, able. Yeah, if you're able, yes. you can do it. Great price on there. Kind of a really good America cruise line. Really good on entertainment. Great ships. And again, just something different because, as I said, we do a lot of stuff going out of Southampton with, with the main cruise lines. And many of you haven't tried Carnival today. I, I, yeah, I've not tried Carnival. I'd like to. Certainly would. So do make a note of that date, 16th of July, and a family of four cruise for just over £2,000. And the ID for that one, if you give the guys a call, is 230283. I think they'll be doing other dates, but that's the one we featured there. And again, one pound, put really low deposit on there for you, and then you can pay it off as you go along. That's yeah. I'd like to try Carnival. Yeah, yeah. But it is now time for destination hotspot. Now this is an area of the world that I've never been to. I'm surprised. I just don't get enough holiday, Glenn. That's, That's the truth. Is, is that the truth? That uh, 14 weeks a year must be a nightmare. It's it? a struggle. I know it is. No, I, don't, I don't get anything like that. I really don't. Um, but it's, it's well up on my list, actually. Is it? Yeah. yeah you've been to most places, haven't you? I have. Um, no, no, there's still a lot of the world I've not seen. Well, yeah, but you're, you're very well travelled, so I'm, I'm surprised I've that been very the Middle lucky. East is very, very popular with Dubai and a lot of people go out there. I would have thought you'd have done something at some point over there. But again, what's nice about this one, this is with MSC Seaview, one of their newest ships. Um, MSC are fantastic. They're, they're bringing out ships. They brought out a couple last year. They're bringing out more. Um, their fleet's getting bigger and bigger. Obviously, the new ships are coming out. They're getting more and more modern. And this is a really, really good ship. And the good thing about this one is this flight's going into Dubai. There's no supplement on there from Birmingham, Edinburgh, Glasgow and Manchester. Now, that's at the moment. Once they lose that allocation, the prices will start to go up. But at the moment... So no supplement for no London, su Birmingham, Edinburgh, Glasgow and Manchester. Exactly. Great. Um, does that say all-inclusive as well? All-inclusive as well. I thought it did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't it's I? Funny, out of all the writing on there... <laughs> yeah, all... <laughs> I just spoke all-inclusive. Uh, so, uh, let's give you... 
a, a little taster, shall we? It's with MSC for families, of course. Now, again, I would say five years ago when I started doing the, the travel agent's job, uh, a lot of people hadn't travelled with MSC. They're now really, really popular. I think many people have travelled them before. Again, they're a European-Italian cruise base, so, again, when they're based over in these part of the world, it's not like Morella or p is British. This is European. So, again, the clientele on there will be mixed between the Brits, the Italians, the French, multiculturals on there. And, again, the shows are, again, European-style shows, but they're very, very modern. And, again, if you're taking the kids on this one, fantastic. Now, on here, they've got loads of facilities. They've got sports facilities, basketball courts, mini golf. They've also got a tagging with Lego as well. So oh, they'll really? Be doing stuff okay. with Lego as well. They've got mini bowling. They've got the kids' programs. They've also got things, of course, the video arcades. And they've got many of their ships now, the 4D cinemas. But they're cutting edge. They're fantastic ships. Very, very modern. As you can see, really, really stunning as you're sailing through. Look at the, look oh, at the uh, atrium. That's a bit different, isn't it? Do you know, when you think of Tom's how... Tom's got to polish that every day. <laughs> True. That every day. Do you know, I was just thinking, though, Glenn, when, you know, when we went on holidays as children, and, you know, and even now, if you do a land holiday, it can be quite hard work with a family, can't yeah. it? Yeah, and this is why the ships are so good. So you've got loads of eateries on there, loads of bars and restaurants. Of course, you've got the kids' clubs on there as well. And as I said, listen, you, you go on holiday to be with your family. You know, you work hard all year, but... Also, when you're on a holiday, you do like a bit of, you know, with your partner, a bit of me time with the kids. And the kids don't want to be stuck with you all the time. So, no. again, you've got the kids' clubs there to do. You've got the retractable roofs on the pool. So, if the weather's not so good, obviously, in the Middle East, it should be pretty good out there. And again, again, it depends on what sort of rooms you want to go for. Again, the yacht club is stunning. That's mainly, I would say, for adults, really, for those ones. So, coming back down into whether you have an inside, outside balcony, depending on what you want to do. But again, as I said to you before, if you want to see this part of the world, you know, many people may say, well, I just want to go to Dubai. But this this one does Dubai, um, but you've got Abu Dhabi, you've got Bahrain, you've got Doha, yeah. great places to go and see, and also Siri Banas Island, which we'll talk about. Now, I think I'd only want to do this part of the world on a cruise ship, to be fair. Yeah, and everyone's got everything. their own opinion. I think I speak to a lot of people that go to Dubai for four or five days. Some people, my brother goes back there every year, loves it. But a lot of people, a couple of days, it's not the cheapest place in the world to buy. So to sit on the ship, sample it, and then yeah. move on, that's what a lot of people want to do. So we're going to fly you, as we said, big choice of airports. Yep. Uh, London, Birmingham, Edinburgh, Glasgow and Manchester. No supplement at the moment Which either. Really good. Uh, and then you're going to embark this beautiful ship and it's a seven night cruise. Yeah, so it's an eight night package, obviously an overnight flight into Dubai. You'll join the ship that morning and then you've got your seven day cruise. So this one's going to start in Dubai and then from there, you're not going to see hardly any Dubai that day at all because you're going to sail that evening. And then from there, you're going into Abu Dhabi. Now, Abu Dhabi and Dubai at the moment are competing to be who's the, the funniest, the most modern uh, place in the world. And, and Abu Dhabi is, is phenomenal. Now, again, lots of stuff to do for the adults, but if you have got the kids with you, um, you can do places like Ferrari World, which is amazing to go and see. You've also got um, Yaz Island, which has got the, um, the the biggest water park in the world. That's Ferrari World there, which you can see, which and that's the Yaz Water World uh, slide park, which is brilliant. But again, if you're just as yourselves with couples, again, if you want a bit more culture, you've got the Grand Mosque to go and see, and of course the beaches and the nightlife there as well. So it's a phenomenal place to go and see if you've not been there. And again, of course, you can go and visit on Yaz Island uh, down to the uh, Grand Prix track, which is really, really interesting. Interesting. Then we go to Siri Banas Island. Now, Siri Banas Island is an island that MSC use, and this is a conservation area. Um, which is wonderful to go and see. Here you can do mountain biking, you can do the wildlife tours there as well, the conservation tours, famous for its bird and wildlife there as well. Um, chill out in the hammocks, relax. It's not quite a private island, it's a little bit more of a, a, a conservation area on there as opposed to some of the other uh, companies that have private islands. But again, a wonderful opportunity. You're the only ship in there. And as I said, keep an eye out. Everyone's looking at you on that island. But again, look at the animals they have and you've got a chance to do one of the little safari tours while you're there on the island. Then you've got to relax a day at sea. As I said, there's so much to do on this ship. One day is probably not enough, but you get a chance to sample it, go and try the restaurants, the bars, relax, sit around the pool, and you know the weather in that part of the world is going to be excellent. Fine, then we go down into Bahrain. Now, Bahrain's going a little bit more traditional. Um, many of you may not have been there before, but again, you can do, again, the Grand Mosque. You've got the shop in there. This is a little bit more traditional in comparison to Abu Dhabi and Dubai. So you might like that. You want to see a bit more of the culture. And again, I would recommend a trip to the Grand Mosque. Very, very interesting. Then we head down into Qatar, down into Doha. So you really are ticking off 
all the places in this part of the world. And again, down in Doha, you've got the Museum Islamic Arts Center to go and see. Again, you've still got the modern arch architecture mingling in with the old culture as well. Um, you've got, of course, the Corniche to wander along, and you've got some wonderful areas to go and explore. And again, with that one, I'd probably look at taking a tour out for the morning and then relaxing in the afternoon. It's quite a nice way to do it. And then we get a proper stay in Dubai yeah, next, don't we? Yeah, and then we get back into Dubai the next morning, and then you've got all day, and then you fly home the following day. So you've got an overnight. People say what happens on an overnight. The gangways are down. You can stay out all night, depending oh, on what you want to do. So you haven't got to come back to the ship. And again, here, loads of stuff to do. Of course, you can do the walk the clouds. You can go up to the Burj Khalif, the biggest building in the world. You can go right up into the clouds and see above the world. You've got that, the Atlantis it? Palm Island, which is amazing. I would recommend, if you haven't done it before, maybe take one of the Jeep safaris. We saw a picture of it earlier in Abu Dhabi. If you don't do it in Abu Dhabi, do it in Dubai and go into the desert and do the, that's the desert safari there, which is fantastic. Or just do what we would normally do and just sit there, chill out and relax. You're in Dubai and you've got uh, an overnight there. Uh, Wonderful and then, place to go and see. And then from there, back into Dubai and you'll fly home from there. God. Well, a lot's included uh, on this one as well. Uh, so don't forget, we've got a family of four price uh, starting at 3569, all inclusive drinks and tips for the entire family. Uh, you'll get a free £50 per cabin on board spend on balcony and above. So you can put that towards maybe excursions, a bit of shopping on board. And at the moment, we've got a brilliant selection of flights at no extra cost, London, Birmingham, Edinburgh, Glasgow and Manchester. And Obviously, to be quite honest, that one there would appeal for families or couples. Yeah, on that really, one. really would. Really doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, don't leave it too long. Don't forget, the phone number's there, 0808 2602. Uh, now, we've got loads of other dates actually available on this one as well. So we've got... Uh, and they're all much of a match, aren't they, really? They go up a little bit more in price, but they're all not, not too bad. Not a lot, bad, though, do no, they? not really. The balcony is good, isn't it? It is good. Yeah. So anyway, we've got uh, all those dates, you know, some obviously within school holidays, some uh, outside them, but uh, dates for everybody this evening. But we've got... I don't know where the time's gone. We've got one cruise remaining. Uh, it goes fast when you're having fun, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, when you plan on booking your next cruise. <laughs> um, but this is with Celebrity, who, who have cruised with many, many times, I think eight, eight times now, yeah. on board the Celebrity Silhouette. Often when we talk about celebrity, we talk about couples, don't we? Yeah, I mean, Ruth comes on the show a lot, as we know, and, she's, yeah. you know, and, and, and again, we tend to... It's probably not intentionally. We tend to say Celebrity is probably more a couple ship in comparison to some of the other cruise lines. It's not really. Um, I think it's just, I think sometimes we just pigeonhole it that. They've got loads of stuff for the kids on board, loads of facilities. I still see Celebrity out of the big cruise line is one of the best out there. Five star modern luxury. Absolutely. People that tend to go Celebrity once don't tend to go with anyone else again. And as I think once you've tried it, people love it. Beautiful ship. The silhouette's fantastic as well and a really, really nice itinerary. It's a lovely item and a great price actually yep. on this one as well. Really so, let's give you a little taster of celebrity. Welcome to the Antirius Explorer Academy. Part of the Canvas e program, we provide enriching, educational, entertaining activities for our young explorers. On board, our junior cruisers learn all about the world around them with our amazing youth program team. With incredible experiments, technology and adventures, watch your children become fully-fledged explorers only on Celebrity Cruises. So there's a lot of great things. For yeah, the kids I mean, the you saw the lawn club on there as well. That's something a bit different. They <laughs> yeah, do, in the they, do, they do things up there like the teddy bears picnic <laughs> up there on there, which is really, really different. But I think people, as I said, um, who, who haven't been with Celebrity before, as I said, we talk about them a lot. There's loads of stuff going on there. So they're very cutting edge on there, first of all. So they've got things like for the kids. I know you don't want to take them away and play on the Xbox, but they've got the Xbox and very, very modern stuff. They've got the movies and the sports and adventures. They've got also science activities that they do on board with the kids club. They've got 
got crafts and treasure hunts. But still, obviously, the adult series that we've seen yeah, as the well. Adults, so. Yeah, they've got loads of adults there, but we talk about them a lot. So I wanted to focus a little bit on more what the families can do, because this cruise is selling really, really well at the moment for the families. You said one of the top sellers. doing really, really well. Um, again, you can opt for the Freedom Dining on board, so that gives you, again, that opportunity to, to dine when you want. Um, you've got shared cooking classes. They've got pizza-making opportunities. Kate decorating, if you want to try that. It's not easy to say after a few drinks. <laughs> I've um, got to say, decorating. Yeah. And then the other things they do, maybe for the slightly older children, because sometimes the teenagers go, oh, I'll never go to the kids' club. Once they get on there, they meet a few friends. They've got things like the uh, budding directors, which is called I Take, which is something really interesting. They've got the music mixologists, so you can learn a bit of DJing. And they've also got things like the sports club. You saw the lawn club, that's used a yeah. lot as well. And that's for the adults and the kids. So there's so much to do there. And as I said, don't tie ship with it. It's a, it's a, a, a couple ship. There is loads and loads of stuff here to do for the families. Um, just looking at some of the images of Serb Silhouette, though, looks like a lot's happening. Yeah, they're refurbishing it. They're yeah. refurbishing the whole fleet at the moment. So they're doing that as we speak. Um, and again, that will be that will be uh, refurbished as we as we talk. So you saw, um, so you saw there some obviously the original features that we love, but some of the brand new edge. Yeah, so well. they're, they're obviously the Edge and Apex launched, uh, the Edge launched last year, the Apex is coming out this year, um, and they're revitalising and, and refurbishing all the ships. They're beautiful anyway, yeah. um, but they are doing a little bit on it at the moment, and they, as I said, you will not be disappointed going on Celebrity, no. it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, ship. Well, a great item, this one is selling really well for families, it's been one of the top yeah, sellers. Yeah, again, we, we, we can't state it long enough, every cabin holds two people, not so many hold three and four. Get this booked as early and, as you can. And bear in mind that family of four press for a balcony is five seven four nine, and you are away nearly two weeks. So, you know you, that is an incredible price for nearly two weeks for family of four with the balcony. You've got your first few days at sea. Yeah, so again, look at the holiday in Winchester to stay the night before, but then you've got a couple of days at sea just to chill out. It's going to be nice and warm, and then from there we head down into Gibraltar. We've spoke about Gibraltar already today, but a great opportunity to go and see the uh, Barbary Apes. Then we go into Cartagena. Uh, again, up on that coastline on the east coast. And again, if you want to take the kids off there, they've got a marina area there. You can go to the Roman theatre. So if the kids are studying anything at school, those Roman artefacts and the theatre there, really, really interesting. You can see that there, just down in the bottom left-hand corner. Then we go into a great getaway for the families and the adults as well, which is Palma, Mallorca. Now, from here, you can go over to Sawyer. You can ride the wooden stole train. Mallorca's famous for two or three really good water parks. Western Water Park and Aqualand are great to go and see. You can head down into Marine Land, go and see the dolphin shows. Um, if not, just go into Palma. You've got the Gothic style cathedral, La Lonca, the marina. And that they're literally about 200 yards long on the left hand side. That's where we got married. Oh. Moving on from there is Barcelona. So Barcelona we've spoke about as well. We'll move on from there. Then we head into Valencia. So Valencia, again, in Spain. You know the weather's going to be nice and warm in this part of the world. Famous for its yachting and its boats. Uh, but again, in the harbour area there, look at the beach areas, both sides there to relax. Good opportunity to walk around in Valencia, but if not, just plot up on the beach and take it easy. Then a day at sea, and then we head down into Cadiz. Again, we've spoken about Cadiz already. Then into Lisbon, we've spoke about that as well. So uh, again, a nice opportunity. And you've just got the one day there in Lisbon. And then a couple of relaxing days at sea before heading back into Southampton. Wonderful um, cruise, five-star modern luxury. Yeah. Um, but selling very, very quickly. So if you want the family of four balcony, uh, give us a call sooner rather than later. Yeah, that is, you know, I think you'll agree for, for nearly two weeks. On 15th of August, peak season, an incredible price. You'll also get free at $200 on board to spend for stateroom. And don't forget, with Sail Plus, you can upgrade for as little as £25 per person per night. And that gives you the choice of choosing two perks, such as drinks, gratuities. If you go for Sail uh, All, then you'll get everything included for £55 per person per night. That's premium drinks, tips, Wi-Fi and more spend. And don't forget you can add on a night at the Holiday in Winchester for only £95 per person as well. So you can either go, so you can upgrade to Sale Plus and have two perks or Sale All Included and uh, get Can I just say that, that Sale Plus, £25 a day, my, 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 my uh, recommendation there would be take the drinks package and an extra $300. So that would give you $500 on board spend and a drinks package for the two weeks and that's £25 per person per day. That's amazing, isn't it? That's really good. And with things like your onboard spend, you can, we often ask, what can you put that towards? Where it could be 
speciality dining, it could be shopping on board, spa, it could be photos, excursions and activities as well. But uh, we are nearly out of time, so what we're going to do is a very quick recap. What a show. What a show, it's good, yeah. isn't it? And we started with P&O on board Iona, brand new ship, of course. And this is the 49th Canary Islands in Portugal from Southampton. Uh, you will get... Don't forget, if you book select price, you can do some free on board spend, port parking or UK coach transfers. No tipping required and just a pound deposit per night. And then we moved on to Anthem of the Seas. As I said, a fantastic ship to go on this. And this is over half term as well. And this is a five night half term France and Spain from Southampton. 27th of October 2020 in the family of four, 1759. We've gone through all the facilities on there and want to add on the holiday in Winchester for £95 per person. Then, of course, we had a very special cruise, Disney Magic. Seven nights, Norwegian Fjord sailing from Dover. Uh, you'll get $300 Disney Cruise spending money and you'll visit the land that inspired, of course, Frozen. Um, and, you know, look at this, experience a whole day of Frozen phone. You're going to get character meet and greets, a Frozen deck party and theme dining experience as well. And uh, so the uh, price there starts from 1479 and do call us for family four prices as then well. Then we moved on to Morella, great deal on this one. If you haven't got the kids with you anyway, doesn't matter. Still look at this one for you. And this is going all inclusive cultural collection from Tenerife over to Corfu, 17th of April 2020, that one day on there. Prices start from 939, the ID is 194960. Remember, all inclusive drinks and tips. Flights from Bournemouth, but we've got regional flights on that one. And again, give the guys a call and they'll let you know the supplement. And then we had, of course, MSC on board MSC Sea View. Uh, this is all inclusive, it's a seminar all inclusive United Arab Emirates. Uh, and we're looking at prices starting at 1159 per person. A family of four from just 3569. That is all inclusive, so it's your drinks, your tips for the entire family. You'll also get free £50 uh, pounds per cabin on board spent on balcony and above. And uh, great flights London, Birmingham, Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Manchester, no extra cost. And then we moved on finally to the silhouette. Really nice 13 night Spain, Portugal, Mediterranean from Southampton. On the 15th of August 2020, as I said, Ruth told us today she was in the office today that limited spaces for three and four berths, but it's available at the moment. You've got the Cell Plus upgrade on there. You've got the all included for £55 tonight if you wanted to do that. And again, you've got that holiday in Winchester. That's a really, really nice one. And again, really nice uh, opportunity for the family of four balcony oh. at 5749. That is amazing. Well, they all, to be fair, they're all, they're the all good. They've all, got, great, they? they've all got perks going for them, depending on what you want to do. I love the Disney. I love the Anthem. I, oh, they're all good. I oh, know. Well, we, are you back next week, Glenn? Back next week, yeah. I don't know. We, you can't get away now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've not got a cruise book yet this year. No, no. You're giving me the call this yeah. week, haven't you? No. Well, actually, I've got a couple of days on, on Apex. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, got that yeah, one. I'm Thank you as ever for joining us. We love our Tuesdays with yeah. you and we will see you next week, same time, 8 o'clock with the one and only Planet Cruise. Cheers, Take guys. Care. Have a good one. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right-hand side. It'll be really informative or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.